Welcome back to the show. Let's talk to Craig Earlham, Senior Marquee Analyst for Oanda. Morning to you, Craig. Good morning. Uh, the Great British Pound against the Japanese Yen. What are you thinking here? Unsurprisingly, uh, given the fact that we've talked about the, the sterling card, sterling dollar, uh, it's not looking great. But we are waiting our final confirmation as, uh, as we were with the uh, sterling dollar pair. Sterling dollar was 128, in this case it's 140. We have taken out a number of technical levels along the way, though, so for me this is already looking bearish. We right. could see a bit of a correction at this point. 140, I think, would be a natural correction zone back towards the kind of 140, 150s, 142s. We may not even see that, though, because what we're seeing right now is consolidation, which is typically continuation. But like I said, we've broken through the uh, Ichimoku cloud a few couple of weeks ago. We followed that probably a week ago now, uh, after the last video we did with the break of the lagging line through the Ichimoku cloud, the break of the lagging line, which is, I think, 52 periods back, uh, through the Ichimoku cloud, it's in this confirmation of a trend change. Um, that's being followed now with support around the 233-day simple moving average and previous support. All we're waiting now is for break of that, and things are starting to look quite nasty. Again, we could see what's some support around 138, 138.50, which is the previous low, but for me, all the major technical supports now have been broken uh, once we see 140 go and then things start to look quite bearish for the pair as it does for the pound against a number of different currencies. So downside target? Downside target, a break of 138.50 and there's no reason why we can't head back towards those kind of 136 as prior support. Um, and but like below say, that? And below, um, well, and below that I think we're probably looking back towards well, 135 and then uh, even back towards the low 130s but I think we're getting a bit of ahead of ourselves there. I mean, we're talking about 10 big Right, ten big so figures you, there. And would you say that you've got the time. warning and the confirmation here? I think we've had a number of confirmations. We're lacking that final confirmation. But like I say, the fact that the pound's looking weak against a number of other currencies yep. means that I'm less. Uh, the, the, this confirmation isn't as important to me. We've hit new highs against the euro. We've hit uh, the euro's hit new highs against the pounds. Yep. And as we've seen with the other videos, uh, the the pounds also hitting uh, very bearish levels against other currencies as well. So for me. This is just telling the same story that everything else is. Great, brilliant stuff. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.